A missing ad from 2005 described her as 19 years old, 5 feet 4 inches in height, slim build with shoulder-length blonde hair. TV. Aliens of London. The moment, perfectly imitating Rose, was 151 centimeters tall and weighed 121 pounds. She was almost never seen without her trademark hoop earrings. The war doctor noted that she was pretty. Prose, the day of the doctor. Henry Van Staten also described her as pretty. TV, Dalek. Her attractive appearance drew the attention of Drake Eilborn, who remarked that she was beautiful and became infatuated with her, comic, mystery date, and of William Shakespeare, who compared her to a summer's day. Comic. A groat's worth of wit. Upon first seeing her reflection in a mirror when possessing her, the Lady Cassandra characterized Rose as a chav, but also noted her attractive posterior, TV, New Earth, as did Jack Harkness, TV, The Empty Child, and Toby Zed. TV, The Satan Pit. Befitting her working-class background as an average shop girl, Rose usually wore casual clothes and muted tones during her early travels with the doctor, such as hooded tops, faded t-shirts, sleeveless vests, baggy jeans and trainers. TV, Rose, The End of the World, Aliens of London, Father's Day, The Christmas Invasion. As time went on, however, she became more confident and sophisticated in her clothing choices, changing from jeans to tight black trousers and favoring zip-up jackets and form-fitting tops in brighter, bolder colors. TV, The Long Game, The Parting of the Ways, New Earth, The Girl in the Fireplace, The Impossible Planet, Love and Monsters, Doomsday, Occasionally. Rose made use of the TARDIS wardrobe when visiting historical periods for more feminine attire. Prose, The Clockwise Man. For her first voyage into the past, to 1869 Cardiff, she wore a ruffled ruby red Victorian dress with a black low-cut sequin bodice, complete with stockings and petticoats and a dark shawl worn over her shoulders. The Ninth Doctor remarked she looked beautiful. TV, The Unquiet Dead. She would wear a dress again on what she believed was a trip to see Elvis in the 1950s, donning a bright pink sequin dress and matching hairband, sunglasses and high-heeled shoes, as well as a cropped bomber jacket of steel blue leather and black fishnet tights. TV, The Idiot's Lantern. Her choice of apparel did not always suit the times she found herself in. On her second visit to the Victorian era, dressed mistakenly for 1979, Rose's short denim dungarees and tights prompted Queen Victoria and her entourage to comment more than once on her nakedness. TV, Tooth and Claw. Rose herself questioned the decision to sport a bold Union flag t-shirt when she ended up hanging from a barrage balloon in the middle of a German air raid during the London Blitz. TV, The Empty Child. Her wardrobe took on a more provocative aspect when she was possessed by Cassandra, who sought to flaunt the curves of her stolen figure. Inside Rose's body, Cassandra dumped her blue jacket to show off the patchwork blouse she had on underneath, in colored patterns of violet, midnight blue, lilac and mauve, which she wore with the collar unbuttoned, bearing her cleavage in an effort to seduce the doctor. TV, New Earth, after being restored, Rose continued to wear the blouse in such a style throughout more adventures. Audio, Infamy of the Zeris, The Sword of the Chevalier, Comic, Witch Switch. Mirror Image. In the rare moments where she and the doctor would go undercover as service staff, Rose donned the uniforms of a school dinner lady, TV, school reunion, and a cocktail waitress, TV, Rise of the Cybermen, The Age of Steel, much to her annoyance. As she crossed dimensions to return to her universe in what would be her final time facing the Daleks, she dressed in a rose top under a bomber jacket of indigo leather with black trousers, reflecting her mature, battle-hardened personality following her separation from the doctor. TV, Partners in Crime, Turn Left, The Stolen Earth, Journey's End. When she met the 8th and 11th Doctors, Rose Tyler wore a Prussian blue hoodie over a crimson t-shirt. She briefly wore a heliotrope dress when posing as her parallel self to keep her fleets busy. Comic, Empire of the Wolf.